Is this the best sunscreen of 2022? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I am Danny, and I am a pharmacy specialized in cosmetology. And on my YouTube channel, I do skincare product reviews and educational videos on skincare. So if this is your thing, you're welcome to subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the new La Roche-Posay UV Immune 400 Fluid Sunscreen and how it compares to the old Shaka Fluid version of it. Is the new version really that much better? Let's find out. Let's first compare the UV filters. Okay, so back in 2020, I reviewed the old version of this sunscreen. You can watch the review right here. And back in 2020, La Roche-Posay claimed that this sunscreen had the highest UVA protection achieved in an Antalias product. This is probably not true anymore because they have outdone themselves with the new UV Immune 400 sunscreen. Wait for it, I will explain. So the old Shaga Fluid had a total of six UV filters. I will read them for you. So we had Adalhexyl Salicylate, UNLP 150, Thinosorb S, Avobenzin, Mixoral XL, and Mixoral SX. Mixorals are the IT UV filters on the market. They provide with high and photostable UVA protection. And they are the so-called L'Oreal Group exclusive agents and only L'Oreal owned companies have those. And of course, La Roche-Posay is owned by L'Oreal. So as you know already, or if you don't know already, the problem on the market is UVA protection. We have plenty of UVB filters, but not as many UVA filters. And the ones that we, that we do have are not providing with photostable UVA protection. For example, avobenzin is a great UVA filter, but it's not that photostable. Plus, most of them don't protect against the ultra long UVA rays. To be more specific, there is this 380 to 400 nanometers gap that is just impossible for all UV filters to reach and protect against. Let me explain that a little bit more. So we have two types of UVA rays. We have UVA1, UVA2. UVA2 spans for 315 to 340 nanometers and UVA1 spans from 340 to 400 nanometers. And most of the UV rays that reach the Earth's surface are UVA rays. Plus UVA rays are the ones that can reach the deeper layers of the skin and cause photo aging, AKA wrinkles and dark spots. So this is why I always emphasize that it is very important to have high UVA protection in your sunscreen. And if we take a look at this picture, we can see that most of the UV filters that we have today fail to protect in this 380 to 400 nanometer gap, also known as the ultra long UVA rays. Avobenzin reaches it, but yeah, still fails to protect and all except the Mixoral 400. This is the first sunscreen that can protect in this gap. Now let's get back to the new formulation of the old Shaka fluid and that is UV Immune 400. Now that one has eight UV filters in comparison to the previous version. It has two filters added. So six are matching the previous version. And on top of that, we have Juvenal A plus and Mixoral 400. Juvenal A plus provides more UVA protection and Mixoral 400 is the only filter known today that protects in the previously mentioned 380 to 400 nanometer gap. And this is huge. So today in 2020, we actually have a UV filter that protects against ultra long UVA rays. This is huge. Bravo, La Roche-Posay. You really have outdone yourselves with this one. Okay, now let's check out the effect on the skin. How does this new formulation compare to the old one? Okay, so I don't have the old version with me anymore. I used it up, but based on my memory and based on this footage from when I filmed the review on this uh, sunscreen, they pretty much seem the same to me. So they are both lightweight, very liquid, leave a glossy finish with no white cast. And I honestly cannot tell the difference. Maybe I would if I had the old version right here with me, but this way I cannot tell the difference. You can also apply the new version around the eyes. It's not irritating, just like the previous version wasn't. Okay, now let's check out the controversial ingredients. Both the old version and the new version of the sunscreen have alcohol listed very high. This never bothered me. As you know, alcohol is a penetration enhancer, solvent, and alcohol makes those lightweight, cosmetically elegant formulations. So alcohol is not a problem for me. And the truth is that this sunscreen would have not been this lightweight if it wasn't for alcohol. But I, of course, understand that 
some people find it drying and irritating on their skin and if you are one of those people then reconsider if there is a way that you can somehow work around this because you will not find a sunscreen with a higher UVA protection than these do. If it's irritating, I'm sorry to hear that, but if it's drying, maybe you can apply more moisturizer on top of it or something like that. That is definitely something that I would do if I was in your position. Now, in the previous review on the old version of the Shaka Fluid, Shaka Protect Fluid, I did mention that that sunscreen, that old version of the sunscreen did give me breakouts after a short period of use of that sunscreen. And the ingredient that was most likely responsible for those breakouts was the highly comedogenic isopropyl mirror state. Luckily for me, I did not have such problems with the new version of this sunscreen with the UV Mune 400. And guess what? Isopropyl mirror state was not included in the new formulation. And even if you're acne prone, you do not have to worry about breakouts with this new version of the sunscreen. Now, is this the best sunscreen of 2022? My modest opinion would be yes. As I said already, the sunscreen offers the highest possible UVA protection achieved to this day. Plus, they eliminated the ingredient that was causing breakouts before isopropyl mirror state, so you don't even have to worry about getting breakouts if you are acne prone. Plus, the sensor characteristics are amazing. It spreads out easily, it's super lightweight, gives a glossy finish, but leaves no white cast. I would say this is a no-brainer. This is definitely the best sunscreen of 2022. So I hereby proclaim La Roche-Posay UV Immune 400, the best sunscreen of 2022. And there you have it. That would be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, and you can of course subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.